Detroit Become Human is genius. This game gives us the freedom to choose the actions on the game which affects its outcome, but reality is that no choice will save us from being shot by the humans. And here's why. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it! Alright. That's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. You can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. The mere existence of androids is repulsive to the low-class working humans, since by this time the majority of them have lost their jobs and have been replaced by machines. This is one of the main reasons why androids are hated by most humans, but there is a parallel that is so important to recognize that will make whoever plays this game to reflect upon one outstanding societal problem in our world. The game is composed into three different and ultimately intertwining storylines. We have Kara, the android housekeeper, Marcus, the medical slash artist assistant of a famous painter, and Connor, the ultimate android designed to assist in police investigations. Kara, who takes care of the housework, is being mistreated by her owner. She goes deviant and takes the kid, Alice, outside of the house to protect her. This takes Kara to escape with Alice to Canada, where they have no Android regulations and can live a regular happy life. However, they hit big obstacles while trying to escape a society which is trying to kill the androids. It's up to you, the player, to make sure they make it out alive. Marcus starts his journey by picking up some art supplies for his owner and encounters some protesters who give him a hard time because the androids are taking all of the jobs. When returning home, he has a philosophical conversation with Carl, which foreshadows the decisions that Marcus will have to make in the future. Marcus later gets in a conflict with Carl's son and is presumably killed by some cops and thrown in a dumpster full of almost dead androids and eventually leads a revolution or peace protest to free the android population. Lastly, there is Connor, an android model specifically designed to assist the Detroit Police Department in the android murder investigations and uncover why the androids become deviant and claim to be actual living beings. Connor then proceeds to search for the source of deviancy, which leads to Jericho, which leads to either him joining the android revolution or fighting against it. Now then, what exactly is the game's message? If you pay close attention, there are red flags along the game which point into which society they are living in. Throughout the entire journey, the androids fight the idea that androids are incapable of feeling. Humans keep referring to androids as things and not people, where others protect androids and treat them as living beings. This whole situation of social hostility towards androids leads to cases of androids migrating to Canada, concentration camps where androids were put inside death boxes to die, and violent acts being taken against the android race. The message that Detroit Become Human is trying to convey is that we are a few steps from going back to the times of slavery and racism that we see today, and even worse, and here's why. Throughout the history of the game, it is shown as evidence that androids are seen as things and have been segregated by the rest of the population. You can see that androids are a cape without seat in the back of public transportation, which is a parallel to Alabama in the 1950s. There was a policy of racial segregation in Montgomery's public transport system. 
Androids are also not allowed in establishments where it clearly states androids not allowed, which also goes back to the same time before the Civil Rights Act where black people were denied service in restaurants in the US. Androids are also obligated to carry and pick up items that their owners leave behind. Can you take hats in a dignified and sophisticated manner? You mean like a weenie? Okay. May I take your hat? May I take your hat? May I take Alright, I've heard enough. They work on retail facilities without being paid, which is a parallel to slavery. And people protest because the androids are taking all of their jobs. Sound familiar? You're not gonna get the votes. So with immigration, you better be smart and you better be tough and they're taking your jobs and you better be careful. You better be careful. Speaking of slavery, androids are shown in the windows of shops to be sold because that's what they are. They're merchandise. By the end of the game, it's up to you to see where the game goes. And here is where the parallel ends. Androids are seen as things to be toyed with. In one case, an android killed his owner because he was used as an ashtray and being beat up with a bat, which in this society is legal because androids are seeing things and not living things with human rights. Detroit Become Human is the beginning of a story. As we see in our current society, the problems did not end with the Civil Rights Acts of 1964. Today, we deal with xenophobia across the entire world. Divided in the conflict of immigration and border control, children being separated from their parents in the US, restaurants showing signs of hate to people of color, and the list goes on and on. But Detroit Become Human demonstrates us that being human is more than just a physical trait. It's the bonds that we make with each other friendships that are worth keeping. Fighting to live a better life. The support that many people offer to make the world a better place for us. Detroit Become Human invites all of us to become human to wake up, to open our eyes to the truth. We are alive, we are free. We choose how to live our lives and make a positive effect on our society. I choose to help. What about you? I want to hear your opinion. Put in the comments below, what do you think of this? Are androids actually real people or are they just machines? I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe.